Bible is beautiful. Most beautiful. And many of them talking about this as the most beautiful language. For that, especially for this, Jesus said, if I go not away, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come to you. But if I go, I will send you. That's in English. But in Afrikaans, most emphatic. Nye, 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 nye. So he is making it conditional that I have to go. If I don't go, he won't come. But the Holy Ghost was with Jesus, was with his disciples. It was with John the Baptist from his mother's womb. The Holy Ghost was ever there, helping Jesus in his ministry, helping his disciples in the preaching and the ministry. Jesus is talking about this comfort and the truster. He said, if I don't go, he won't come. I have to go before he comes. We say that spirit of truth, that truth is Muhammad. However, what does the man say? Look, he's made a thousand million Muslims today to believe with great respect and reverence. We never take his holy name. Jesus. In our language we say Isa. We never take you just call him Jesus. Without Mr. or Dumini or what? That is Jesus. In my language, our learned people, if they are delivering talks in the mosques or on the Muslim gathering, and if they say Isa, talking about Jesus, Isa, will kick him out. Isa! That's what Jesus means. Without saying Hazrat Isa, revealed Jesus, or without saying Hazrat Isa, alayhi salam, revealed Jesus, may peace be upon him, without this perfect sentence of it, no learned man will survive five minutes among the Muslims. If he takes the holy name of Jesus by saying Jesus, Isa. And his mother, we love, respect, and read your heart. Which is woman? Who made it possible that there are a thousand million Muslims in the world? They are put at a certain disadvantage in this polemic field. You know, where you argue and debate, trying to score points. You know, if this thing was not said in the Quran, nothing about Jesus, about his birth, if it was not said in the Quran, it would be so much easier for the Muslim to deal with the Christian missionaries. Easier! Because we are now tied, our hands are tied, our tongues are tied. We believe in Jesus. He is the mighty messenger of God. He is the Messiah. Born miraculously. Mary was a virtuous woman, same thing. We believe. You can say what you like about Muhammad. But we can't say any similar thing about Jesus. Nothing. We can't. But if the Quran was silent about Jesus and about his birth, his position, his status, we can laugh you off to scorn. If you come along talking about Jesus, she was born miraculously. <laughs> I said, look, your sister, you know how what a nice girl she is. She never spoke a lie in life. She's telling you, brother, I heard some voices. And now uh, I'm carrying a baby. You believe her? You believe her? Your sister, your mother, in the absence of your father, gone for a long time. You know how virtuous your mother was. All along, you knew, all her life. Now she tells you that she had a dream about your father and she's carrying a baby. You believe her? She says, no. Now you believe this jewels 2,000 years ago she had poison and she carried a baby and the child was born Jesus. You believe that? <laughs> What's wrong with you? No. No, the Muslims can't do that. We believe that Jesus was born miraculous. He was one of the mightiest messengers of God. He was the Messiah. He was a miracle worker. But he is not God and he is not the begotten Son of God. Then in the time of Jesus, the Jews were expecting the coming of another prophet besides Elijah and besides the Messiah. They were expecting for three prophecies to be fulfilled. John chapter 1 verse 19 to 25 they come to John the Baptist the Jews because Jesus had told them that John the Baptist is Elijah or in the spirit of Elijah. The Jews had a prophecy before the coming of the Messiah Elijah must come first or Elias. So when Jesus claimed that he is the Messiah they said where is Elias? So Jesus said, this John is Elias or in the spirit of Elias. The Jews were not satisfied with what Jesus had to say, so they went to confirm from John. 
They said, Atta, they asked him, him three questions. John, chapter 1, verse 19. First, art thou the Christ, the Messiah? He says, I am not. Then they asked him, Art thou Elias? He said, I am not. Then they asked him a third question, Art thou that prophet? And he said, No. So they remonstrate with him that why then baptize the thou if thou art not the Christ, neither Elias nor that prophet? They asked him three questions, he gave three negative replies. Then they remonstrate with him three, on three different things, three points. Why are you baptizing then if thou art not the Christ, neither Elias nor that prophet? And if you have any Bible with a cross reference, which has a cross reference, you see there, that prophet or third prophet will tell you Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18 or verse 15. And if you analyze that, you will find again, point for point, it fits Muhammad like a club. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18. Where is this? Mark, where is this there? Mm, prophet shall act for halak, right? A the mid of an halak rules. So as he is, and excel may word in some one land, and hasten on halak said, well, what I come home with here. He said, fits again Muhammad like a glove. Muhammad is the fulfillment of prophecy. Fulfillment of the prophecies of Moses and Jesus. And what is he teaching you? What are his moral teachings? Because in the final anal analysis, the acid test of religion, any religion is, the moral teaching of that prophet. Jesus said, and with it, this is by the fruits you shall know. Do men get a fix from the thistle or grace from the thorn? That every good tree will be a good fruit, and every evil tree will be evil fruit. You shall know them by the fruits. Satan, Ham, Yala, Hala, Frashta, Sel Yala, Hala, Kat. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you.